So the foundation has been committed to lifting up the voices of the people directly impacted by crime, violence, poverty, all those issues. And we've come to realize that investing in community-led projects where people live, where they've been impacted tremendously by um, crime and law enforcement oversight and all of that and lack of resources, um, we really wanted to see a project where there would be collaboration and innovation at a community level. And we think this project will be a great model. Hopefully there'll be great success and documentation from Fairfield University's evaluation uh, that will prove that the state and the cities should be investing in community rather than in more law enforcement, more incarceration, especially for young people who really need more mentoring, more community services to be successful in school and in the community and in the future, rather than having a forecast that they will go into prison at some point in their lives. Yeah, it's interesting that the narrative out there is that uh, the people in these communities don't want law enforcement or don't want um, programming that's going to make them feel safer, but they do. They, they do want a safe community, but safety isn't only having police or security. It's about having a community center for kids. It's about having access to health care, ho housing, all those issues, you know, and, um, and so there's been a lack of investment in communities and in urban areas, and so we need better environment for folks, you know, more parks, more trees, more, you know, those kinds of things so that people feel good about where they live. And, uh, and that their kids have things to do after school and that their schools be stronger. So there are a lot of things we could invest in rather than prisons. And when the state closes a prison, I realize that sometimes you don't have the full amount in savings, but a, a certain percent of, of that money could be redirected to community and they know how they want it spent. It always makes me feel great. I mean, working for a family foundation and a family committed to bringing joy and happiness and services to folks who are not in their economic class has been really gratifying for me. Uh, I've been with the foundation, as I said, 25 years. I was a journalist for 20 years before that, so I could see what, what was happening in community. And this family has been committed to really providing some resources, but not telling people what to do, listening to what people want. And so I'm, I'm, it always thrills me when I see that the uh, power has been put into community folks. So that's why we're funding organizers and advocates uh, for, at the small end, at the community level, so that they can bring success to their communities and their families. Perfect. That was great. That was fantastic.